Hey, welcome everyone. Uh, it's two minutes Tuesday with Bala. This week we are going to look into uh, Azure Front Door with the custom domains. Uh, let's get started. So I have uh, opened my uh, Front Door Manager here. Typically you run into this domains uh, section. So you would see that you can add a custom domain. So in this case, let's try adding a custom domain. Most of the scenarios you're going to look into like a non-authenticated, mostly outside that. So if you notice the first immediate thing is uh, it says like your domain needs to be validated, which means uh, you prove that you are the owner of this domain, then the traffic gets navigated. Uh, the next one, you can see there are two options here, the certificate. Uh, the main advantage of using their certificate is automatically renews every six months or 180 days. So other thing I would like to show here is so when you click on that, you can see this regenerate button here. So when I click on that, it will generate a new TXT value that I could add it to the site and then get that revalidator. You can see after a few minutes, the domain got validated. You see that it's approved. And then the other domain, you see the regenerate button that I hit it. And then from the timeout situation, it is showing as pending. So I will be able to do it. So a couple of things to notice here. Uh, the next thing is, uh, we are we have validated the domain that we own it so the next part of the puzzle is you need to point the c name records to that particular endpoint association so let me explain what that means so when you go back to the domain manager click on the default route you see this one ep uh, bala.1 this has to be the c name for that domain name whatever you created then it will work so let's take that um, go back here, you can see the demo dot baller one is approved. So you click on that domain, you can see the certificate has been deployed. In this case, it's 184 days to expiry, but clearly you can say the C name or alias record has not been set up. I'll get that added. So after the setup, you can notice that uh, it says traffic is being securely delivered. So let's open the site. That's about it. You can see the site is loading from my um, from the AFT. The main things to be aware of whenever you are doing a subdomain, something like one, it's much easier to do it because you can play with the C names and you can assign it. But if you do anytime with like Apex domains, which is like your root domain, uh, in, in this case, like one, you need to, or root domains or the Apex domains, be aware that it needs to be uh, supported by your DNS provider. Anytime you're doing a subdomains, you can always do that and you that's about it. Next week, we'll meet with something else new. Thanks again for watching. See you next week.